What is going on guys, this is TechnoSpire and today I'm going to teach you guys how to build the ultimate wind staff in Origins. And to complete this we are going to need to have the normal wind staff built. And this can be done in solo as you see here. But what you want to do is you want to go to Angartha once you have built the ultimate wind staff. And you'll look up above the wind teleport and you'll see this combination lock. And basically you want to hit all the different uh, circle things in different orders until you get it correct. And once you have it correct you'll see this combination will go off. If you guys know the correct order to do this every time, please let me know in the comment section below. But for now, all I know how to do is just randomize and get lucky. So once you have that completed, we can go and move on to our second step. But guys, I want you to remember that this can take some time. It took me about two full wind stabs, I believe, to get this to work in multiplayer. But I got on like my first try in solo. So it will work, guys. Just you got to be patient. And the same with all the other stabs. So yeah, let's go on to step two. Okay guys, so for this next step, we are going to want to find these three chimneys located around the map. The first one's right here next to Juggernog. And you just want to hit them with your wood staff. And I don't know if there's a specific order for this, but I'm just going by the order that worked for me. And the next one is located right over here by Stamina Up. Make sure you hit these like two or three times each just to make sure that you actually got it. Because sometimes it doesn't register because the game's just glitching out like that recently. I've noticed a few glitches in Origins and that's just one of them. But the last one is right over here. Just want to run over and by the tank tracks in the graveyard, you'll see the next chimney. And I hit it, and there will be a noise that Samantha will make. She'll say like, "Oh, you found the combination," or something like that. So just look out for that, and you'll know you have it done because you'll hear that. So now that we have completed our second step, we can go get our third step. Now that you've completed that step, you want to head down to the bottom of the excavation site, and there will be four levers located on these different platforms. Each lever will turn a circle thing and you need to get them all to line up with yellow and once you have them all lined up with yellow you will go down to the bottom you'll see this yellow orb right here and you just want to shoot it and then it will glow and it will go through all the yellow switches or something as you can see right here once you have them all lined up it'll just go through and now we have completed our third step and now we just need to go power the staff so now it is time for probably the hardest step if you're playing solo, if you don't have any good weapons, is charging the staff. So what you want to do once you have all three steps completed is place the staff on the pedestal. You know you have it completed because the pedestal will be raised a bit higher to have room for your staff. You need to place it there and start a new round in Agartha. And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to kill zombies until Samantha says... The staff is charged or something or you'll see it pop up on your screen. The staff will have a red... Um, kind of glow around it and this is very hard and so I actually went down while doing this and I got really nervous I'm like oh no I'm not gonna get the wind staff but I managed to get myself they drop they actually do drop power-ups here so you'll be safe on that but I managed to get myself a nuke and zombie blood at the same exact time so I just grabbed my staff and ran but that's it for now guys I will show you what it looks like when the staff is powered up and I'll give you guys a little bit of gameplay of the staff because this thing is absolutely amazing so here's that footage of me going down right here. I got really nervous when this happened and I'm just freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so close to getting the wind staff. This cannot be happening. But I actually end up dugging and getting a nuke and zombie blood at the same time. And it will also show you getting the staff powered up. And I will have awesome gameplay after this to show you guys what this thing can do. Because it's absolutely amazing. So as you can see here, I'm killing off the last zombie horde. And you'll see that the staff pops up on your screen with a red aura around it. That's how you know that the staff is charged. So you can run over and grab the staff off the pedestal. As you can see, this thing is absolutely epic. It's called the Borea's Fury. It has a knife on it. You can do a hurricane attack, and you can also revive players with this thing. But the only downside to having this thing in soul is that there's no use for the revive, which is right here, the Sekhmet's Vigor. And this is the same with all the staffs. They all become melee weapons, have a charged attack, and all get um, reviving things on the back. So now let's show you guys a little bit of awesome gameplay on this thing. So here's some beast gameplay of the staff, guys. As you can see, I'm going to train up some zombies, and this attack is just absolutely amazing. You charge up the staff and shoot it, and it creates a little bit of a tornado or hurricane that will suck zombies in. And I believe the longer you charge it, the more effective it is. And this thing is like a one-hit kill all the way up to like round 30, I think. So this staff is absolutely amazing, guys. I highly recommend getting this staff in solo. But that's it for the video, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, because it lets me know that you actually enjoyed my video and I did a good job on it. And as you can see, this thing is just absolutely unstoppable. It's this kind of the same thing with the ice staff, which creates a blizzard. And speaking of the ice staff, I am working on making all the other ultimate staff video, guys. So stay tuned for those, because I'm working really hard to get those completed. 
Until next time, guys, this has been Techno Spider, and I will see you all later.